Perfect. Welcome to Tips for Gamers, and today we're going to talk about something other than Madden. We're going to be talking about conference realignment, Notre Dame in particular. Where would they fit? Do they even have to go to a conference? We're going to break this all down for you guys so you guys get a quick video on what to expect in the future with Notre Dame and this crazy conference realignment that we keep seeing. Notre Dame's contract ends with NBC in 2025, which is really big because of the fact that this is when the conference realignment take shape it's right around the same time you got usc and ucla joining the big 10 in 2024 making it the first national market they own the new york market and they own california market and so they literally own coast to coast and they're not done yet you're seeing oklahoma and texas leave for the sec in 2026 it could be even sooner with how fast everything is going so the big question we all have is can notre dame stay independent or do they have to join the conference well where they're at now is most of their sports besides wrestling and football are in the ACC. The wrestling, I believe, is in the Big Ten. And in football, they just stayed independent and said, we don't need any of you guys, and they haven't. As easy as that, I mean, it hasn't helped them win any national championships or win playoff games, but they've still always been relevant. They've still always had tremendous respect. But now it's in a situation to where it's becoming very difficult. Now, let's break down the ACC. So a lot of people may say, well, the ACC, why not join the ACC? They already have most of their sports in the ACC. The ACC is on their hands and knees begging and plead Notre Dame to, to come save their conference because that's what they need because their conference is in trouble. Their conference was in trouble even before this. If we go back in time where Oklahoma and Texas didn't go to the, AC, the SEC and UCLA and, and USC didn't go to the Big Ten, well, you're still in trouble. You still make less money than the Big Ten and the SEC by large margins, and it's only increasing. There's just not enough people who will watch on their TV screens uh, the ACC play games compared to the Big Ten and the SEC. And then you have to ask yourself, well, if Notre Dame has all the power, is Notre Dame going to come in and say, well, I want a bigger piece of the pie? I would. Why not? Even if the ACC crumbles in the future, what do you care? You're going to go to another, you're going to go to the Big Ten, you're going to go to the SEC and just make as much money. You don't care about the ACC. You don't care if it stays relevant. You want, you want money now. You want it in your pocket. So I wouldn't blame them if they did. Texas took that deal with the Big 12. And what happened to the Big 12? You saw teams leave and go to the SEC. Texas didn't stay relevant enough for them to stay on top and the TV viewership kept dropping and more money kept coming out of the Big 12 and you, you ended up seeing schools that had a smaller cut than Texas get hurt even worse. Texas didn't care. They didn't care. They're going off. The Texas Texas just ruined the Big 12. It said, "Hey, we want so, you know, we want money, more money than everyone else." And now Texas is going, "Yeah, they're done. All right, we're out of here. We're going to the uh, SEC." That's the same thing Notre Dame will do. It's the exact same thing Notre Dame will do. So then you have to ask yourself, well, can Notre Dame actually save the ACC? And the likelihood is it's not even close. There's no way. Replace Notre Dame with Ohio State, one of the, the, the one who carries the Big Ten. They still wouldn't pull in enough viewership. Replace them with Alabama, Georgia. It, they wouldn't pull in enough viewership. Any one of those schools just by themselves would not pull in enough viewership. They wouldn't because Alabama would leave the SEC, go into the ACC, let's just say that we're just doing examples here. You're not going to pull in more viewership than LSU in a Georgia game just by yourself. Not even close. No way. Ohio State leaves and goes into the ACC. You're not going to pull in more viewership than Michigan State, Michigan, and Penn State. N no way. Not even close. They, they bring in way too many views as a combination that they, yes, Alabama and Ohio State rule their conferences. No question. They're the big fish. But even them by themselves would not be able to stop the sands of time with the ACC. It's just not going to happen. So Notre Dame will go in. If they go into the ACC and they're going to just, you know, delay the inevitable. So let's go on to the wild card here, which is the SEC. A lot of people are not talking about them joining the SEC. And there's reasons for it because it just it doesn't really make sense. But the SEC sees the writing on the wall and really wants Notre Dame because the SEC could profit from Notre Dame more than anyone else. The Big Ten, if they bring on Notre Dame, they become number one, the number one conference. It won't even be close. And then you bring on the, the SEC. If the SEC brings on Notre Dame, they become number one. And it's not even close. So even though there's two big conferences, there's one big, big, and then there's one big. So that's how it'll work. And, and the SEC knows this, Notre Dame knows this, everyone knows this, Big Ten knows this, but 
the problem that they have is is if they're in the driving seat and they're saying, well, we want more money than Bama, that's not going to fly. There's no way that's going to fly. Alabama, Georgia, they're not going to accept that crap. No way they're going to allow Notre Dame to come in and dictate who makes the most money in the SEC. It's not going to happen. But the SEC really wants to plant their flag in Big Ten territory. They want to take some of the recruits. They want to take some of that TV viewership money. That's what they want to do. But the issue that you have is, is how can you convince them to make the same amount of money as everyone else? And how can you convince them to lose all their rivalries, their historic rivalries? How can you do that? The recent rivalries that that's just where it's going to be so difficult. So I'm really curious to see what kind of business plan the SEC comes up with to try and get them to accept that they're just a brand new school. Now, all other rivalries don't make sense. And we're going to just, you know, we're going to put you in the mix and try to make you a Georgia in our, in our uh, conference. That's going to be very difficult. So can Notre Dame stay in the independent league and still be successful? And the answer is for a bit. They can for a while. They've been very successful being in the independent league and not had to deal with joining these other conferences. And they basically got to do what they wanted to do with their football program. And it's it's been successful for them. But the problem that you have is that the Big Ten and the SEC are now becoming Goliaths. They're becoming to where you are now you're one of the five you're not you're not the top one you're not going to go and like join the acc and it's like well you and clemson no it's you and five other schools that's going to be your you, how relevant you are in, in these conferences the big 10 is going to continuously swallow up teams the sec is going to continuously swallow up teams they are becoming so large that they're a, almost at the size where they can tell the ncaa to piss off that we don't even need you, that we are going to exclude ourselves, create our own commissioner, and now we are basically the size of the NFL. That's how big they're becoming. So right now you're you're relevant. You could join the Big Ten, make them the number one conference. You could join the SEC, make them the number one conference. You could join the ACC and, and uh, delay the inevitable. You could do that. Sure. But eventually in time... If the Big Ten and the SEC go to where we're only playing interconferences because our brand name is so big, we don't need to play outside of our conference, you're done. You're absolutely toast because the ACC cannot keep you afloat. They just can't. You'll join them. You'll have to only play ACC games. You'll get to them. And you got to hope that the ACC increases viewership by 50%. And good luck. Have fun. Uh, so right now, Notre Dame is in the driving seat, but the Big Ten and the SEC have the ability to get so large, they just tell you, no, we're not going to schedule you. If you want to schedule one of our teams, you have to join us. And then Notre Dame will sit there and crap their pants like they did in the COVID year and say, well, holy crap, we have no teams to play. We may not. They'll smother you out by just not even allowing you to come to the, the table. That's how they'll do it. They'll, they know they'll literally smoke you out and say, you got no choice, bud. You have to join. And that's where the Big Ten and the SEC are just getting colossal. They're getting too big to where, yeah, you can play games now and you can throw it around your weight and say how successful you guys are and we want to be independent. But eventually in time, they're going to tell you that's cute and we don't care. Um, you want to play us, join us. And then Notre Dame will be forced to join. And that's the way it'll work. So right now they can play hardball and you might as well because it's the last that you can do it. And uh, you're going to have to look at either joining the Big Ten or the SEC. So let's go on to the Big Ten here. What do you have with the Big Ten in, in, uh, in the rivalries that they already have that are related to the Notre Dame fighting Irish? You got USC who already joined, Stanford who has an opportunity to join the Big Ten. If you look at historic rivals, you have Purdue, Michigan State, you have Northwestern, you have Michigan. You got Miami in there too, who's not a part of the Big Ten. All those other schools were part of the Big Ten, but you got Miami. Well, look at Miami in the future. Who's Miami going to join out of the SEC or the Big Ten? Miami has a great, even Florida State. You could you could uh, substitute them with Florida State. Not all these Florida teams are going to want to go to the SEC. It's not going to make sense to them. If they're going to make more money or even the same amount of money going to the Big Ten, they're going to want to go to the Big Ten because you're not going to want to have recruiting battles like Texas Tech or Texas A&M had to do with Texas. You don't want to be in the same. You want to be in a different conference and start to grow and be able to pull your guys away to go fight in a different conference. And that's what it's going to be. Miami is not, not every Florida school is going to want to be in the same conference. They're just not going to want to do that. They, if you're going to look at one of these guys and say, well, do you want to join? Texas A&M left the Big 12 to get away from Texas. 
well, Texas A&M could end up going to freaking Big Ten, and then you could see Miami or Florida State say, well, why do we want to join the SEC and flight, fight Florida? No way. Let's go and let's we'll go to the Big Ten and we'll try to you know steal away some guys uh, from the SEC to help us battle in the Big Ten. So Notre Dame is looking to be in a great spot if they join the Big Ten. It makes sense. It just makes sense. Now they're going to play hardball. They're going to make it very difficult for the Big Ten, and that's what they're going to do because that's Notre Dame and that's how they operate. But at the end of the day. The Big Ten is the best place for them, and they could stay independent for as long as they want, but eventually in time, they're not going to even be able to play because the Big Ten and the SEC own the game. They're not just playing it. They're not a part of it. They own it. I'm in a her song. High ambitions in the right mind can take you so far. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Take off from a break off from the weak minds. They can stay soft. You can change lives. You create thoughts. Never waste time. You got one shot. You got one life. Better pop off. What do you like? Make a dream job. No nine five. No 